All right, guys, just want to make a quick video. You know, these Bitcoin dumps are absolutely insane sometimes. You don't even notice them. Like, I'm looking at my phone, and uh, Bitcoin's like, what, almost $30,000. Then an hour later, I'm playing around, and we're at, like, the upper 27s. And I'm like, what the hell? This, there has to be something weird here. So I, of course, refresh it, and we're at $28,000. I refresh it again. We're at twenty seven nine, And I'm just like, all right, something big must have happened. Um, obviously, long is getting liquidated. But why? This dump is, like, completely out of the blue. And, of course, I do a little bit of digging, and, you know, Bitcoin plunges 7% an hour, to under 28,000 as Arcam sends Mt. Cox alert. Blockchain uh, analyst firm Arcan said wallets linked to the defunct crypto exchange Mt. Cox and the U.S. government had moved large amounts of Bitcoin. But the alert was the result of a bug fix. So it was all bullshit. <laughs> and my point with this video is think how many people, we all know somebody, who sold their Bitcoin at 27000 sold their Cardano just an hour ago at what? I think Cardano went down to $0.37, cents, something like that, $0.38. Cents. Litecoin went down into the 80s or lower 80s. Folks, this is why you don't want to be part of the herd. And that's the one thing I've been preaching on this channel so long. When you're part of the herd, you get screwed. Now, a couple years ago in crypto, if I saw this dump, I would have been freaking out. <clears throat> I would have been selling. I would have been like, what the hell is going on? And if I did, I'd be buying in right now. Like I told you guys before in previous videos, uh, by me selling like a, like a nervous wreck, like a scared little girl, I lost a lot of money in the last bull market. And I'm not making those mistakes again. So it was all for nothing. Hell, it could have been purposely done. I mean, it says Arkham denies buggy Mt. Gox alerts to blame for 7% Bitcoin crash. But if they're capable of crashing Bitcoin 7% by just putting out a text or an alert, I mean, if they were shorting, and I guarantee you somebody with this Arkham or whatever, however you pronounce this, shorted and made a lot of money. Don't be a part of the dumb money. These big firms, these big organizations that put out these alerts don't aren't there to help you. They're there to help themselves. So they're going to come out now and say, oh, it was just a mistake. It was just a bug in the system. Maybe it was, but I don't believe it was. I really don't. But no, I have no proof otherwise. And nobody has any proof otherwise. But somebody on the inside probably got rich or made a lot of money uh, off this bullshit news. But say it was real. Say Mt. Gox is going to sell some of their Bitcoin right now or the government's going to sell it. So what, folks? Don't let these events scare you out. Okay, so the government sells, Mt. Gox sells. We get some sell pressure. Bitcoin drops down to $26,000, $26, $25,000, worst case scenario. And then when it's over, we shoot right back up to thirty. I see the comments. I see everybody shitting their pants. You got the YouTubers out with the emergency videos. I told you we were dumping at 30000 blah, 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 blah. We're going down to 15000 You know, I was watching Crypto Banter. He did a show. Half the comments are, I told you guys we were going down to 15,000. It's all over. Pokes, you're stop being so freaking emotional. Like, be a man. And I know there's not, and I say that because 90%, 95% of all Bitcoin crypto investors are men. In fact, I think the women probably do better than the men. Even though women are usually emotional, I think they have some more common sense than men. Because these guys you see are just every little freaking volatile move. They, everybody freaks out. And folks, it was all for nothing. So if you sold during this at 27000 or one of your altcoins at like a 20% dump or 15% dump, like you look like an idiot and now you have to buy back in. So yeah, we might be volatile for the next couple of days because of, of what just happened and uh, you know, it, it like rattled the markets. But it does look like we're coming back up now uh, to the... Um, you know, at least to the mid $29,000 range. And we'll probably hit $30,000 again soon. I guess it depends on the stock market today. But it really is amazing how little tiny, little tiny BS news, little tiny BS article can just spook people that bad and they dump out. Folks, get a hold of your fucking self. I just want to like grab people by their collar. Get a hold of yourself. It's a volatile ride. We're going to have a volatile year. 
$25,000 Bitcoin, maybe it'll come back. Maybe we'll go up to $35,000 next week. Maybe we'll go up to $40,000 and then dump back down to $25,000. That's crypto. But in the end, next year, the year after, we're, we're in full-blown bull market. And if you play yourself right, you can retire. So just uh, use some common sense, folks. Don't fall into these fucking games, these whale. This is a whale game, a whale game. They fucked you. They fucked you. And uh, now you're buying back in higher. All right, folks, like and subscribe. Talk to you later.